Hi, my name's Dexter, and welcome to the Traveller's Guide to Adventure. What I've discovered while traveling is that many people don't realize that there are so many cheap to free ways to travel around the world. You don't have to have a large amount of money, you just have to have sometimes enough for the flight, sometimes not even. So, one of the ways I'm going to show you today is, it's a website called Helpex. There's multiple versions of this, there's Helpex, there's Workaways, there's Woofing. These are all websites that many people, like hosts, go to where they're doing research, where they have hostels, where they have guest houses, where they just need volunteers for people's homes to teach English. There's all these kinds of things on the websites. So, let's take a look and see. I'm about to head to Norway in a couple of days time so I want to try and find one in Norway sort of out of the way so that I can find some bizarre places to go so I'm gonna find one here Foundation business yeah this one looks pretty good it's big book a guest house there's more big guest house in Brindberg all right let's email her and see what she's got So you're feeling a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, Dexter, look forward to hearing from you. And send. Done. Uh, I recommend that you send multiple ones just because sometimes people take a little longer to get back to you than others. But, um, you know, always good to keep your options open. Take a look, there's some great um, places to stay out there, not just in Norway, all over the world. Um, so hopefully I'll hear back and we'll go from there. I'm very, very excited to see Norway. All right, I've just landed in Norway, Maldi, and I'm here with Big Bertha. And we're just waiting for the bus so that we can now get to our Helpex host, who we're going to be working with for the next three weeks. I've arrived in Kristiansand in Norway, and tomorrow the work begins. So we'll see what kind of work and what style of work I'll be doing. But um, nevertheless, I'm excited because it is insanely beautiful here. And I mean, I get to stay in a holiday destination for free. So what more could you ask for? All right, it's 6.30 in the morning and we're on breakfast duty this morning. First things first, coffee and tea. Right. <clears throat> now to start my next part of the duties for the day, uh, I clean the rooms, change the linen, and prepare them for the next guest who will arrive at about 2 3 pm. Here we go, Mum would be so proud. Just like she told me all those years. We now have a perfectly clean room and I am now free to go explore Norway. I've finished all my work this morning and life is going to take us out to sea on the boat and go fishing. for a hike after finishing fishing. So I'm going up what's called, it's pronounced Trollskreika, which means Troll Church. There's proper scrambling. Holy crap. I love it. Woods to the cave. <laughs> okay, I've made it down. Now I've got to try and hitchhike. Which I've been told all it takes is a big broad smile and maybe some panic hand gestures. 
So I've made some friends and they're gonna give me a lift across to my car, which is very nice. Hello. So it's Christina and Nikolai, is that right? They've just done the same hike as me, so very nice of them to give me a lift to my car. I'm late for dinner! It's incredible to think how much you can fit into a day with all the free time that you have when you work hard on these volunteer jobs. And as the weeks progress, generally they try and keep your jobs varied. So, in the next few weeks, I got to start building a room, which is really fun. Uh, Norway is spoiling me with good weather. So I've got the afternoon off and uh, my place I'm staying at has some bikes that I can borrow so I'm going to go for a ride around Christian Sun. Now what I really want to hear is what it's like to have to put up with us annoying volunteers. I've come as a help ex volunteer, mm -hmm. which was my first ever time doing it, so I was a little bit nervous. But you've done this a few times yeah. and had quite mm -hmm. a few volunteers. Yeah, I have experience, and I can say you're terrible. <laughs> no, <laughs> just kidding. Okay. No. Tell me, what's it like having help ex volunteers? Uh, it's a big help for us. Um, we get we get some are really nice people. I mean, they came from another country, so I get to know the culture about how they are or we, where they came from, like that. And then so, so they're good, and sometimes you get some not so good, but mm. um, still they're good people. <laughs> and then, so I suppose the real question is, what have I been like having as a volunteer? You. Oh. Let me think. I can say that um, the next place that you will be helping with uh, will be lucky to have you here. Oh, have you around. thank yeah. you. And here's, you here's my... your payment for oh. saying all these nice things. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> How much is this? Yeah. <laughs> I just like I, I just taught you one day, and then you know everything, the system, the routines like that and just like I, ju I, I can just sit at home yeah. it's been such an amazing amazing experience for thank me you. I've loved it and I've loved getting to know all of you <laughs> hope to see you again here yes of course yeah. mm -hmm. I've loved it so in summary Norway has blown my mind it has been so incredible I have seen the most beautiful things I've met the most amazing warm and friendly people I've felt a part of a family in the three weeks that I've been volunteering here using help X um, I've gotten to live like a local but also do all the tourist things that I could ever want to do I mean look at this beautiful location there's no way I wouldn't be able to afford or stay in a beautiful place like this for three weeks with food included if it wasn't for amazing websites like help X Give it a try, helpex.net. It's useful all over the world. There's places all over Europe to give a go. Um, I'm on to my next adventure, so hopefully you'll tune into that episode when that one's done. But for now, it is Adventurer Out from Norway. See you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed watching your first ever episode of A Traveler's Guide to Adventure. Don't forget to click the little button on the bottom left of your screen here to subscribe to our channel so that you can stay in contact when all the latest updates come out. Also, if you're interested in seeing more videos and more behind the scenes of what I get up to in my own spare time and on the weekends, then check out my Instagram at asventure.dexter. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to comment and like so that I can find out what you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of. If not, Dexter here, signing out. I'll talk to you guys soon for the next episode.